For a challenge, I'm rebuilding the Louisville police station. Metal for walls is starting to run low, but that is not Strong Woman's major problem. Slowly but surely, the hordes are starting to track her down and move in on her base, and she has to use all her tricks to defend her new home. But if Strong Woman is good at one thing, she is good at making those undead dead again. There's one little thing that I wanted to do today, and that it visit the little gun store that I totally didn't know was over here. This little place is basically at our doorstep, yet I had no idea it was here. And now, it's gonna give us its treasures. Now when it comes to treasures, it didn't actually have much, but we did get some ammo and we got a new Tac-9 pistol. And I'm also gonna steal their wall lockers, and also their deer trophies, among other things. And there's one more thing I wanted to do since I'm driving through the city already. That is reclaim this ambulance vehicle. I would love to make it operational again. Let's bring it home nice and easy. Nice and easy. A tiny little bump maybe to put it on the side. Yeah, now that is perfection. But there is one more thing that I wanted to test out. Thanks to your suggestion, I installed a mod that should let me get propane from the gas stations. And if that works, it should solve all of our issues. It does work. That is one propane tank completely full. Metalworking should no longer be an issue. But there is even one more thing that I wanted to try. But that's gonna require the creation of a metal workbench. For now, we're gonna place it just over here. But later on, we can build its own place. And at the bench, we can do a lot of the construction into metal parts. And these metal parts we can now melt in our smithy. Let's go get some more metal. We're only one level away from being able to make level 2 metal walls. And making level 2 walls would be a huge boost to protection of our base. An evening of disassembly gave Strong Woman 26 metal bars, which turned into 16 workable iron, but apparently metal parts unfortunately did not melt. I'm gonna turn all of that workable iron into small metal sheets. Well, this is gonna use more materials, more propane and more everything, I did it because I can turn small metal sheets into proper metal sheets and those actually give me a lot of metalworking XP. And now I can continue with my metalworking, destroy even more things and gain more metal bars, which I can then turn into more metal sheets. And more metal sheets means more walls to be built. But hard Hard work pays off and 31 metal bars later, Strong Woman is finally level 8 metal working, which means now she'll be able to make level 2 metal walls. But first she needs to repair her missing door. We're definitely gonna need a ton more metal, but this is a good start. And it's definitely gonna last longer against the zombie incursions. And the whole day of melting fences to get some more metal gave us just enough metal sheets to make 7 walls. But it is definitely much better than nothing. One little thing at a time and this place is gonna get the protection it needs. I don't want to just play around with meta working. Well, of course it is important that a strong woman builds her base. She needs some action as well. And action is exactly what she's gonna try to find today. There is a video store nearby and I wanted to check it out to see if we can get lucky with some mechanic tapes. But looks like our path has been stopped by a migrating horde. So there is the action that she wanted. And there might be too much action that she can handle. Especially because the alarms are sounding again. I should have brought a Molotov with me. The numbers pouring through here are just staggering. I'm gonna try to bring them away from my car and hopefully put some distance between myself and the horde and then deal with whatever remains here. Looks like they are slowly moving north. I'm gonna let them do their thing and in the meantime I'm gonna check out this grocery store which was unfortunately pretty empty besides some sweets. Now let's see if I can reclaim my car. There seem to be a couple of zombies here that disagree with that decision but I want my car back so they'll suffer for it. Unfortunately there was an alarm near the area that I wanted to go to so this might make things uh, more complicated. Just slightly more complicated. Just slightly. Once again I regret not having a Molotov with me and I know that just in the last episode I said I'm never burning anything again. I changed my mind. I totally want to burn them again but luckily there should be some tall fences I can use to my advantage and I certainly intend to do that. Let's hope it's clearer on the other side. It might not be clear but it's definitely better and that's something strong woman can work with she is getting closer to that 40k zombie kill mark and she wanted action after all and today she's getting all the action she could ever want though my real fear here is how is she gonna get back because the roads are insane getting back the 
same way is gonna mean the zombies are gonna be all over the road. But let's deal with one problem at a time. And let's see if we can get an entrance to this video store. Angry shoppers say no entrance. But no one can say no to strong woman and actually live to tell the tale. She might just need a tactical retreat or two. And then she is back in. And after this long battle for the video store, there is only one tape there and even that one isn't very good. So her natural reaction is to check the liquor store next, which is unfortunately also empty besides a beer can and a bourbon. We can't really claim that this was a very successful adventure, but it was definitely an adventure to remember. Now the dangerous task of actually going home. This adventure certainly told us that there are still vast hordes of zombies living in Louis, but at least for right now, there are only stragglers here. And now that she's safely home, she can just spend the evening with her metalworking level 5 book. A new day dawns, which means more friendly neighborhood metalworking. Surprisingly, there's many places that did not burn down that might actually give us some better resources than this assembly of chain link fences. And in some cases, the zombies have already done their work. Absolute treasure find here with some box of nails and charcoal. Such good things we can find in the dumpsters. There is lots of disassembling to do in these apartments, to the point where it's hard to carry everything out of here. If she can find some food along the way, then that is even better. That was a good day of metal working. We have a truck full of metal bars, metal pipes, metal sheets, scrap metal and small metal sheets with unusable metal. And also inventory full of metal pipes and sheets and all that stuff that we couldn't even put in the back of the car. In fact, we have so much scrap metal it doesn't even all fit into the smithy. So melting all of that gave us 26 plus 17 workable iron, 28 small metal sheets and 32 proper metal sheets. And of course, when we turn all of that workable iron into metal sheets, that's gonna be even more. Now, before we get to play with all that metal though, we can actually harvest our first cabbages. And that means we are at farming level two. Now, before we gather the rest, I'm gonna put these in the freezer and I'm gonna read the next farming book. And now we can grab the rest of the cabbages, bringing us to level three in farming and giving us 71 more cabbages. That's a lot, but we can plant more. With almost 100 cabbages stored, I think we got plenty of food for a while now. But cabbages alone are not gonna be enough. Strong woman is gonna need some protein and higher calorie count. There should be a couple more food stores like this place around. And that's exactly the place I'm looking for. Although jelly beans might not be perfect, I'm still gonna gladly take them. And these arcade machines in the back are gonna be perfect for a rack room later on. All of these zombies coming in here, they think I'll share the chocolate I have found. Think again, zombies. I'm also gonna grab the popsicle fridge. It's gonna be perfect if you grow more cabbages. There is a butcher store right here. I'm sure that one's gonna have some good meat for strong woman. Also, that is a level seven in axe skill now. Looks like strong woman has riled up the neighborhood, but that's not gonna stop her from checking out the butcher's place. And while there wasn't much, she found some beef jerky and a fresh sausage. Now what lies on the other side of the road is actually very interesting. This is the Louisville Art Gallery. And I think all this art would be perfect for strong woman's police station. After all, she's some kind of an artist herself. Although her brush is an axe and she paints with the blood of zombies. Now would you look at that beautiful car. While it is protected by many zombies, strong woman needs to have it. I mean, she's rebuilding a police station. What kind of a police station would it be without an actual police car? So it is of utmost importance that she recovers this vehicle. All it now needs is a proper working battery and it's gonna be amazing. Now you can finally go back to metal working. First, we need to turn all the small metal sheets into proper metal sheets. Then we can start turning our workable iron into metal sheets. And now finally, after a long time working, we got 42 metal sheets over here, nine in our inventory. We got 30 in our backpack, and then we have 12 in each of these. So that all together is a lot. This is gonna be much harder for them to breach. It seems like I'm gonna run completely out of propane before we even finish this. So I'm gonna have to go back to the gas station. I also won't have enough metal sheets. Now let's fill our torches first, and then we can start filling the industrial propane tank and the rest of the propane tanks. That is a lot of propane. And since I need some more metal, I'm gonna stop at the apartments that I tore apart earlier and destroy their bathrooms and kitchens. And that kitchen actually brought me to level nine in metal working. I don't know if I actually have enough, but I have more than I can carry, which means it's time to go home and start cooking the metal. That gave us 14 more workable iron, which gave us 18 more metal sheets and a level up in smithing up to level five now and those new sheets should find 
finally allow me to finish this wall. There's still two windows that I need to replace, but the walls are now finally done. Now let's upgrade those bad boys, looking much better. We can upgrade a couple more over here, but then we're gonna be out of metal sheets. But before we do that, I'm gonna need some more wood. Of course, not only do we need wood to continue flooring our police station, I also want to create a couple more doors in the lower level. And not because zombies love breaking doors, but because I'm gonna need easier access so I can patrol the area. Although I have to admit, this really isn't the weather to chop trees in. So for now, I'm gonna stop and grab my stacks of logs. In total, we got 10 stacks, which means 40 logs, which in turn means 120 planks. Apparently, a whole horde of them loves my new walls. I don't know where all of these guys came from. We got this at our front entrance, which means there is no front entrance anymore. And I gotta admit, that kind of pisses me off. They really did a number on our place. If that isn't rude, I don't know what is. But at least my armory is safe. It's gonna be time to rebuild again. At least we got the frames back up now. But of course, we do not have the metal for them. This window right here, I want to replace with a door. And I'm gonna replace this window over here. And build a door on this side as well. And of course, I need to replace this door as well. I think next step in protection of this place is gonna have to be a way to beef up these walls. And there are ways I can do that. Like parking cars right next to them. And there are plenty of cars in this city. Although getting them in the position where you want them might not be that easy. And the groups moving in in here are also not making things easy. I don't know where they're all coming from, but they certainly love it here. In fact, they just keep on coming. It's almost like this is an all-you-can-eat buffet for zombies. And somebody is clearly having a party over here and i wasn't invited i guess a giant migration is happening over here that i was not aware of maybe it's the rain maybe it's the new season but one thing is for certain the zombies love it here let's hope she survives the night because zombies are definitely on her trail